Salutations, friend Robin. Starfire, I told you my name already. You don't have to call me Robin anymore. I know, and I give you very much of the thank yous. What made you do it? Well, you're living with me. I think it's best that I'm honest with you. And I do trust you after all, Star. Please, what is the up? Well, I was just watching some TV before you came in. Uh, TV? Or as you call it, the magical light-up box? Oh, that, with the nice moving pictures, right? Yes. Earth is very much the strange. We never had something like the TV before on Tamaran. <laughs> well, you learn something new every day, I guess. Hey, listen, I have a friend coming over, so I need you to go and hide, okay? Hide? For the why? Well, me and her aren't exactly dating, but we're not chest friends either. It's complicated. So if you mind, would you just stay in your room for a few hours? I understand. I will do so as you please. Thanks, Star. I was just about to have the shower anyways. I'll see you later. That must be Barbara. Oh, Robin! Uh, Starfire, you can't be here right now. Please, how do you turn on the shower again? Look, you gotta go, okay? But Robin... Starfire, please. Uh, you know what? Just forget the shower. Just go in your room, get dressed, and stay there for a few hours, okay? If you say so. What are you doing? You told me to get dressed, did you not? Do people not get naked before they get dressed? Just get out of here! I don't know what's taking you so long, so I just let myself in. Dick, what is going on here? Ah, hey, Barbara, how's it? <clears throat> Would you like something to drink? Dick, who is that girl, and why is she naked in your house? Um, Barbara, it's not what it looks like, I swear. She's just a friend staying here for a while. You see, she's an alien from another planet, and she's crash landed here on Earth and she doesn't have a place to stay. You must be the Barbara Gordon that I heard so much about. I would very much like to do shaking up the hands with you. Put on some clothes, Oompa Loompa. Corey, please just go get dressed. All right. I cannot believe you. You invite me over and you have a completely other girl here. You made a complete fool out of me. It's not what it looks like. It's exactly what it looks like, Dick, and you know it. To think I wasted all my time getting ready just for you, driving all the way here. <sighs> I'm leaving. Wait, Barbara, what about you and me bonding time? Why don't you go have bonding time with her, you creep? Babs, come on, you're blowing this way out of proportion. Am I, Dick? Am I really? How would you like it if you went to my house and I had another guy there with me? Would that make you feel good? No, didn't think so. But this is completely different. She's an alien. Just because she's orange dick doesn't mean she's an alien. She just needs to find her right foundation shade. I am the back. How are you guys doing? What do you think, Oompa Loompa? <laughs> Silly earthling, you must have me mistaken for someone else. My name is Princess Coriander, but you can call me Starfire. I have other things in mind that I'd rather call you. I do like your sweater. Where'd you get it? I bought it online at noneofyourbusiness.org. Girls, please. Hmm. <laughs> your voice seems very pointed right now. On my planet, when someone acts this way, it is because they wish to start a war. Where do you find these girls, Grayson? Seriously, I'm leaving. Perhaps that would be best. <laughs> Let me tell you something, little Miss Orange. You do not want to start something with me. Perhaps I do. Perhaps you don't. You may be working with the Batman, the Barbara Gordon, but you are no hero to me. Girl, look how orange you look, girl. Of course you realize this means war. <laughs> oh, that's it. You asked for it, girl. Ah. Lucky for me, I always keep my utility belt handy. Get up, you tart. <laughs> you brought this on yourself, Starfire. Now give up. <laughs> I've been held prisoner for five years by the Citadel, and I will not let a puny, weak mortal like you get the best of me. <laughs> Face it, Batgirl. Your little toys are no match for my Tamaranian power. You really consider yourself a threat? Please. I've dealt with way worse than you. <laughs> Ow, my head. <sighs> the end of the line, Starfire. Barbara, stop! You can't do this. I don't just care about Coriander. I care about you too, Barbara. I care about the both of you so much. And please remember, Bruce said, justice, not vengeance. You can't kill her. It's against Bruce's rules. <sighs> Dick Grayson, you need to decide right now. Who are you going to be with? Me 
for that. Barbara, come on, don't do this to me. Choose. Now. Agreed. I do think you should do the choosing. Uh, uh, uh. I can't. Oh, come on. You've known me for months. You've known her for what? Five days tops? Uh, Barbara, please. I believe the phrase is love at the first sight. Oh, shut up. No one's asking you. So what will it be? <sighs> Barbara. You're like a sister to me, but at the same time, I've had feelings for you since the day we've met. In Starfire, although we've known each other for a short period of time, I have such a connection with you. And you're literally out of this world gorgeous. And you're so sweet. And... Barbara, I'm sorry. But I can't be with you. Although I really want to, but... You gotta think about the team. If you and I are together while we're fighting crime, it can really mess things up. And I can't risk losing you. It's like dating a co-worker. It gets awkward after time. You have to understand. Oh, I understand loud and clear. Fine. It's clear you don't want me. You can be with this... this... thing. Goodbye, Dick Creason. Don't ever talk to me again. This is my fault? No, Star, it's not your fault. It's mine. <sighs> I fear I might have lost her forever. Oh, Robin, I'm so sorry. But no matter what, I'll always be here for you. Thanks, Star. Would you like to go out and have the cream of the iced? And maybe that'll cheer you up. Sure, let's go.